Okay. All right, let's go ahead and orient ourselves. We have right here, this is the umbo, which is the distinguishing hump on the back side of the clam. This is the dorsal region. This is the ventral region that opens. If we look at the clam, the long side is going to be the posterior, and the short side is the anterior. All right. Uh, what you can see here are these distinguishing lines right here, and these are considered the growth rings. It grows starting here, so the newest growth is here, and the oldest growth is furthest away from the embo. If we open up the valves, remember these are bivalves, um, and each shell is considered a valve, we're going to see things like this substance or structure right here, which is the mantle. It helps to secrete the shell, and the shiny stuff in the back is the mother of pearl. You can see these muscles right here, and these muscles are considered the um, adductor muscles. So we have the anterior adductor and the posterior adductor muscles. We can also see part of the retractor muscle, which is right here. All right. If we look at this structure right here, the clam has these two structures. Remember, they're bilaterally symmetrical, so these are the gills. And at the top of the gill, you can see... Right here, these are going to be your siphons. You have an in-current and an ex-current siphon. In-current where water and food comes in, ex-current where everything else comes out. If I pull back the gill, inside I can see this structure right here. This is the foot that has been cut. And this is the visceral mass, which is where all the liver and kidney and everything else is going to be housed. When you remove the foot, what you can do is bisect it, which allows you to open it up and see everything inside. So if we look at this one right here, it's a little hard to see some of the things in here, but you can see the green structure, which is the digestive glands. And then you would have intestines running through here. And so you can see some of the little tube from the intestines. The other structures are going to be gonads, and then you have some uh, muscles in there to keep it close together. Let's go ahead and look at this one over here. We remove the valves and we have both the um, posterior and anterior adductor muscles, and we have the mantle. So if we pull the mantle back here, we can expose the visceral mass and the gill. So we're going to pull the gill back. And you can see this structure right here, which also is the same structure on the other side. So if we look here, we have the labial palps. And just um, in front of that, we have the mouth, which is this whole region. When you cut this all open, just like we did on the other one, we open it up, and this is where the stomach is going to be, next to the digestive glands, which is the liver. The gonads here, and then you can see the intestinal tract right here as it runs through this clam. It eventually loops through the visceral mass and comes back up along the top here, which then is excreted out the anus. And then in this area, if we pull this back again, this is going to be where your heart is. And remember that you have a clo or an open circulatory system for these organisms, and so the heart really just is um, to allow for forward movement of uh, material flowing through this organism. That's it.